So my browser just like did that weird thing where it like just bees weird. So I I I fear that my PC is gonna crash today, but we'll see what happens. Hoping for the best. I am sure you are all very excited to listen to this music today. Also, ads are starting, gamers. Ads are coming in. Get your points in while the ads go. Get them in, get them in. I love Cam. I really, really love um, Kyogre a lot, but I also love Scorpy. I love Roserade a lot. I like Mudkip Shiny a lot. Please manifest no crash. I am a little nervous, I will be honest. This only ever happens while I'm like streaming. No. Oh. Pokemon Master, it'd be like that. Especially because, like, you gotta, you gotta catch them. <laughs> you gotta really catch those bad boys before they run. Stream did not crash yesterday, no. Stream, the last time our stream ca crashed was when? On Thursday? Or was it Tuesday? Last Tuesday, I think. I don't know. It, it's so disheartening because I built my own computer, so I'm like... My fault, I did something wrong. What's up, Dissonance? How are ya? Hello, hello. But me and Noob, like, really hardcore looked at stuff, and we think we solved it. We'll see. Who knows? We shall see. All right, it is time. I don't know what this chain is at, but yesterday I ended stream and just shut my 3DS, so we're just continuing on the, the chain from yesterday. Hello, Yoshi. How are you, gamer? Hello, hello. Got your shiny Japanese Mew under odds, too. Dynamax Adventures Mew 2 gonna be over odds. <laughs> and that's okay. Doesn't cause crashes later on like that. I have no idea what's wrong. Well, I'm sure Noob can figure it out. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? It's just a little annoying. Hello, maybe Garchomp. How are ya? And your GP lit on fire. These things just happened. Yeah. Does make me feel better, Turtle. <laughs> just a little annoying. What's up, Zany Ludicolo? How are ya? Garchomp, hope you're well. Good to see you, gamers. Hello, hello. Firekin, hello. Cam, thank you for the lurk. Nice, Yoshi! That's so cool. That is so fun. Feel kind of nauseous where eating would probably help, but you don't want to eat because you feel nauseous. I had that a few, like, the second week I moved in. I was, like, really struggling to eat because I could just not, like, the idea of eating was so meh to me. But I was so Arby hungry. Arby, I hope you're having an amazing What's up, hey? How are ya? Also, that's a lot of months. I hope streams have been going well. It's good to see ya. Thank you for the eight. Good lord, how are ya? Hello, hello, gamer. Firekin, we're looking for a shiny seeking. Or, um, or Crawdont is what we prefer. Um, Yuji, hello. Hope you're well. Hello, hello. Hope you're well, Pei. It's good to see you. Thank you, mods, for the shout out for Pei. An incredible streamer. Does a lot of shiny hunting as well. What's up, Nick? How are you? Hello, hello, gamer. Good to see ya. Just started Y yesterday. Nice, Garchomp. I hope you're enjoying it, gamer. You love to see him. Seeking is a vibe. Is. Goldeen, one of my least favorite Pokemon? Yes. 
you know what? Seeking is kind of a vibe. What's up, Ducky? Hello, Abby. Hello, gamers. How you doing? Hello, Shock. What's up? Hello, hello. Hope y'all are well today. What is wrong with Goldeen? I just don't like Goldeen. I really can't. Elaborate further. Okay, before... I'm scared my computer's gonna crash. What's up, James? Okay, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna, like, close out a Chrome real quick. Now I can't see any of you. Um, and then I'll open... I just wanted to close some some extra tabs just in case just in case i'm not getting an obs crash i'm getting a whole blue screen the the past two weeks okay we're just gonna we're gonna vibe out Nothing's happening, Clay. I just, the, the last two weeks, every time my computer has crashed, something that'll happen is my Chrome tabs will start to, like. Hold one second. What's up, Brian? How are ya? Good to see you, gamer. Sometimes my Chrome tabs will, like, I don't know what it says. I don't know what the error says. It'll get an error. And so I just closed down of my Chrome just to close out of extra tabs and whatnot that I had. Brian, how are you, gamer? Thank you for the 19. It's good to see ya. Hello, hello. I will not destroy this chain. I will keep this chain up for as long as I can. <laughs> Real and true Kush. Firefox Supremacy. Brian, how are you, gamer? It's so good to see you. I hope you are well. Also, Shock, how are you? How is stream? Hello, hello. It's good to see ya. Urge you to look up Seeking Shiny. Terrible vibes. Shelton also thinks she Seeking is a bad vibe. Lapras is locked in, focused on catching too. Lapras is great. The people who hate on Lapras have nothing better to do. Yeah, it's a good prep for le the new Legends game. I've been seeing quite a few people play X and Y on stream lately, which is really, which is really fun. Very, very, very fun. Now up 2-0. Let's go, Miss L. Hello, Hydra. Day is going. Day is going. A, a bit of a sleepy day. Started the day off a little slow, but... We're vibing. Shock, we, we changed a setting, so... First crowd on. We changed the setting where like, every time my computer is blue screen, it gives the error and then immediately restarts so fast that I could not read anything going on on the blue screen. But we changed it last time it happened. We switched things up so that if I get a blue screen, my computer is not going to like automatically restart. So hopefully we can like look at it properly this next time if it happens, which like knock on wood, nothing happens. Who knows? We'll see. I could just be overthinking things right now. Some RAM issues. I'll be I'll be taking some notes. Gotta love a blue screen. It's very exciting and awesome when it happens. For sure. It almost always only happens when I'm streaming, but it has happened one time. While, while editing. Eh, 
Anyway, we must escalate the vibes. Lapras wronged you? Hello, Gwendolyn. How are ya? We are chain fishing. Yeah, we sure are. We sure are. Hello, coldest case. How are ya? Good to see ya. Hello, hello. Thank you, Brian. Yeah, we, we thought we got it fixed last week, but who knows? Who knows? We'll see. Yesterday, Rickster? Yes. We will be playing Emerald Rogue eventually. On stream. It'll be great. Is Pokemon X and Y worth buying? I mean, if you're interested in it, I would say get it now. It's probably gonna get expensive. Probably get it now. That is very real and true, Ryan. Da Vinci Resolve has this thing where it like auto you know, I'm replaying XRN. saves, cool which is really someone nice. Shiny hunting in it in 2024, haha. Super helpful. Bug bites. Thank you for the prime for five months, gamer. Hello, hello. Good to see ya. Thank you for the five. And thank you for prime and hello, doctor. Hope you're well. Hello, hello. Our target today is Seeking and Crawdont. Who knows what'll happen, but those are the... Those are the things. Yeah, we want on route, route 3 right now. Makes us on to something here. <laughs> we got Gyarados last stream, which was really exciting because Gyarados is a big guy. Yeah, they gotta come up with a, a name for that. Where it auto saves? What could they do? We do not have charm, no. Vibes only. Lost your 3DS? I don't think 3DSs are too expensive right now. If you just get like a normal, you know, 3DS. Is your favorite generation stain? Always surprised when people thought it was mid. Like the last Pokemon you really had a chance to play in high school before you got busy. I feel like, yeah. Gen 6 and 7. Just the 3D era is where a lot of people, I feel like, started to fall off because they're just getting older, you know? I just bought the 2DS Pokeball edition. I used to have a I used to have a 2DS and then I gave it to somebody as a gift, a birthday gift, and they never used it. And I kind of want it back if I'm keeping it real. Unregister the bike? Can I unregister the bike right now?
All right, anyway. Need a bad lip reading treatment? We're just talking about my computer. What's up, Jacob? How are you? Hello, ads. Hello, hello. Hope you are well. The gestures were kind of funny. I'm using Shelton's favorite. Yeah, Octillery. I heard Shelton does love Octillery. Real and true. You fell off when the games moved to the Switch. Now you all now all you want to do is play DAs. Perfect combo of battling and shiny hunting. It really is. DAs are, are a vibe. And they're super fun because you can't you 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 are forced to use what they give you. You know? I like DAs. They're a good time. In-house tech support is huge. It's been huge lately. Jacob, how are you, gamer? It's good to see you. We are chain fishing. If so, can you explain how it works? It never gets old. It never gets old. Playing Platinum with no Shiny Charm and got a Shiny Ralts. I don't think there's a Shiny Charm in that game. Want to do DAs again to Shiny Hunt? Thank you, Barry. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> kind of hate DAs, but you do want to get some of the legendaries. I I think that, like, truly, what, sometimes the best way to, to do DAs is when a streamer is doing them. Yes, I believe Gen 5 was when the charm was... <sighs> ...was introduced. All right, Gyarados enjoyers. Fifty-two percent on Gyarados, thirty percent on Seeking, eleven percent on Crawdon, and seven percent on nothing. What's up, Pokey Stitch? I will be honest, I'm running away from this red Gyarados. <laughs> I am running away from it. I don't need it. We're gonna let him we got we got a new lake of rage. There's no need for violence. I'm not KOing it. There is no need for violence here, y'all. 300,000 points on, on Gyarados, 174,000 on Seeking, 66,000 on Crowdon, and 39,000 on nothing. Wildbox, I do apologize for the amount of points you have lost. Let that red shrimp go. Rach, I wish it did. I really, I really, I really wish it did. Kids are gonna hate this. Okay, we're doing another one. Another prediction. But this is a very short prediction, so you gotta get in fast. Get in, get in. Five minutes on the clock, get your points in. You've lost 26,000 in the last couple of streams. Time to take out another more <laughs> Bet on the wrong guy, it happens. What are you hoping for? I am hoping for Seeking right now. Seeking or Crawdont is what I would like. That is what I'm looking for. So we're gonna run from this, this guy. What's up, Georgie? Get your- get those points in, gamers. Get them in, get them in. I am seeking a seeking, yes. Get back in there! You never give up! You never give up. You lost your life savings to Stunfisk? That sounds about right. It does, Pixel Bees. It's confusing because it's basically like, it, it's like the opposite of radar chaining. Which is what we've done a lot on this stream. We have done so much Pokey Radar shiny hunting on stream. 
So it feels a little weird. Feels a little weird. Thirty. Thirty-two thousand for another Gyarados, Shelton. SMH, dude. All right, everybody say bye, Red Gyarados. Bye. We'll see you later. Oh, it's a woman. Bye, Gyarados. Don't come back. <laughs> What's a Tunkus? <laughs> You're just siding with Migs. Interesting choice for sure. An interesting and very, very, very bold, bold choice. I hope, I hope Red Gyarados finds her, finds her dad. Yeah, it is weird to see a Red Gyarados not at the Lake of Rage. It is, it is odd. The first chain fishing shiny I found was, was Magikarp. What's up, Silence? Hello, hello? How do I even feel about this? That's huge though, once you evolve it. <laughs> then you have two. Two Gyarados. Or you could solo with the fish. Sitting in the box the way she is. Let's go. Was a love disc? I like love disc. I know that people people love to hate on love disc. I am a love disc enjoyer. She's just a little girl. Oh. All right. It's Jover. Should have caught the Gyarados. Let's go check the chain that we had earlier. We had it. This chain definitely wasn't as long as the one yesterday. So let's go. Let's go see what it was. I think it's on Route 11? Is where the fishing guy is? I don't remember. Is it six? What, 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 what route is he on? What's up, Red Man Man? How are you? It is 16. He's in Sutopolis, I see. I see, I see. Warpus is out there. <laughs> Just... A faint memory to most. 99! Oh my god, I am such an idiot! Here are some dive balls as promised. 20 of them! That is hilarious to me. So that means yesterday, that really, really long chain we had, I broke it at 99. What, what a, what a, what a fool I am. What's up, Nicholas? How are ya? Good to see you, gamer. Hope you're well. All right, we'll unregister this. We'll fly back to Route 3. 99. Ay, 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 man.
You're doing the Obama Snow Team Flare stuff. Yeah, that whole side bit was kind of silly if I'm keeping it real. Obama Snow was like, what is the point of this? Kelly! I'll have you know. There's a chicken, a Stardew chicken right there. I don't know if you can see it. See him? Kind of, the blue chicken. The chat's kind of in the way, but he's right there. Shane's chicken. Enhance. <laughs> Yeah, chat room, move your big ass head. <laughs> I'm I'm excited about um Stardew 1.6. Exciting, exciting things happening. Show the class. Eight days to go. It's gonna be fun going, grabbing my cats, coming home, and then immediately Stardew Valley. Very, very fun. Tunk is for a video. For a video. It'll give you the sapling back? That's huge, Kelly. That's huge. I'm really excited about the new farm. Has has he said anything about what the new farm is gonna be like? I fear I will get spoiled on what it is. But that's so exciting. What's a pale loser? Stardew is legit your favorite game. A swamp farm? I guess that would make sense, yeah. Yeah. We are gonna stream some Stardew, we sure are. Why is there just a Google link? Just in case you ever have any questions, you can use Google. What's up, Joe? Happy Monday. Are we streaming Stardew Valley right now, Remy? Yes. I'm in the f I'm, I'm on the fishing farm. Hello, Remy. How are ya? Anybody play the Stardew Valley board game? I have not played it. I would like to, but I don't know. Also, ad break is about to start, gamers. Enjoy your ads. You recommend the, the board game? Try again when 1.6 comes out. Don't that, that is totally understandable, Amelia. It's just not for everybody, you know? I think that Stardew Valley is definitely not for Clay. <laughs> like, it's just not his kind of vibe. I think he'll have fun playing it if we do it together. But it's definitely not for everybody. And that's okay. Too open for you, need more guidance, yeah. It's very much a have fun, do whatever kind of game, you know? And it definitely, yeah, yeah. The board game takes a bit to set up, but fun to play. It does, I, the one thing, the one common thing I hear about the Stardew Valley board game is that there are so many pieces. <laughs> I don't think that we will, um, like, really go crazy on Stardew Valley when 1.6 comes out. Because if I'm keeping it real with you all, I don't want 100% another farm. Like, I just don't have the energy for that. I am not the type of girly who's trying to 100% multiple farms. 
But I, I'll, I'll play it here and there on stream, but we're not gonna have a dedicated era to Stardew like I did back in the day. Okay, what is going on? Our ring thing is going crazy. Are there like gardeners here today? It's your wife's favorite, one of her favorite board games? Really? Okay, yeah, there are gardeners here today. That is why everything is going crazy. He did! Oh, yeah, for anybody who was, like, maybe a little worried about Clay's Girl Scout cookie scam, he did get his Girl Scout cookies. Have no fear. Um, Bearded Catch, mine is a loopy capture card. I had a few, but they weren't my... I don't like the kind of cookies he likes. I am a Samoa Girl Scout cookie girl. He just got, like, the shortbread ones. Could you even believe... Like, the cookies were real. I was convinced he got scammed. Was absolutely convinced. We are definitely in our Pokemon era for sure. I feel that <laughs> rage. But we're also about to. We're gonna. We're gonna dip our toes into some some variety here and there. It was nice trying out the Princess Peach game yesterday. I will not be purchasing it, but it was fun to play. The demo. I ain't buying it. True, Kelly. <laughs> Yeah, I'm happy the happy the cookies were real. It just I don't know, Joe. I it is not a $60 game, but you know, I only played like the first little bit of the demo. I didn't even finish the demo. That's how uninterested I was in it. It I believe it's like a full price game, right? 16. If it were like 40 or 30, maybe even 40, I think is stretching it. Right, Eternal? Back in the day. Hello, Crowdon. It was just, I think Abby, I think I am too much of a Super Princess Peach girly. I loved that game so much as a kid. And so new Princess Peach game, I'm like, okay, I need like, I need that same kind of vibe. And it was obviously nothing like it. And I knew it wasn't going to be, but I was still like, what if? Um, it just was kind of meh, I don't know. Maybe it gets better. I'm sure it gets better. But yeah, I think I haven't played Mario Wonder, so I think I would rather just play Mario Wonder than buy this game. For, it just does not seem like it should be $60. That is for sure. But yeah, Super Princess Peach, I truly... I know it's a, it's a, a bit of a pricier DS game, but dude, that game went crazy. So good. Truly, truly, truly good. Yeah, that is real, Amelia. It still isn't worth the 60, though. What's up, Jordan? How are ya? Hello, hello. Nothing yet. Nothing, nothing yet. I just want to do some more Nintendo games, Joe. We're going to play Thousand Year Door when that, like, remaster, remake, whatever, uh, comes out. That is Clay's favorite video game. So I think that'll be fun to play. Um, we'll play that. We might do Mario Wonder on stream. Eventually we'll do Pikmin 1. Once I've recovered from Pikmin 2. Oh, 
Lack of reaction at the Gyarados. Will provide a lot of good designs. True, Churchy. That's such a good point. She's got some good fits. That is a great point. Yeah. Oh, this case. The fact that, like... Listen, I enjoyed Mario RPG. But, like... I didn't enjoy paying how much I paid for it. Still have your original childhood copy. Yeah, Clay really loved Wonder, and he, he did some speedruns for it as well. And enjoyed that. Joe, we hit it. <laughs> we're gonna do, we're gonna do, um, what's it called? Emerald Rogue eventually. Which I think will be fun. Paying like the same price for Legends Arceus as I did for like, you know. My RPG, like it just ain't right. It ain't right. It simply is not right. We cannot let them get away with it. For the, uh, for like the, I, I, I forget what you have to do in Legends Arceus. Is it, hold on. You do have to catch every Pokemon, right? To, in order to do like end game stuff. But then to get the shiny charm, it's just research level 10 for every Pokemon. Right, that's it. I keep getting that confused. Super Mario Bros. 3 when it came out. Still as much as a new title now. And your old Game Boy SP. Let's go. Yeah, Stardew Valley has so much going on. And how much is that game? Like $25 or something? I don't know, $30? It is so affordable for so much that you get. He is such a real one. And yeah, I was just about to say T40. Stardew was literally just on sale recently. It goes on sale all the time on Steam. And I see it on sale in the Nintendo shop as well. Hello, Sandwich. Level 10 entry on everything in PLA. If you're smart about it, it's really not too bad to get the shiny charm. See, I was not smart about it. I had to grind. I grinded. The spring steam sale is starting on Thursday. This is huge. Yeah, we do not do smart here. <laughs> do it 100% pay full price for it. I think I got my copy of Stardew on sale. I think the first time I bought it was on the Switch. I, I started with Stardew on the Switch. And then... I got it on sale on Steam. You do want to complete the Y Pokedex. Um, Dominator is doing, uh, he has done in the past, he's a shiny hunter who streams and makes really great YouTube videos. He 
is he's done in the past where he like does a living decks with just using pokeballs for various pokemon games and whatnot and he's doing it for x and y right now which is really fun getting a getting a living decks another cheap but huge game hollow knight Recently got your wife hooked on Legends Arceus. It is a great... It's a great game. The people love to hate it, but... It's a great game. Hello, Redo. Proceeded to stay up for 24 hours. <laughs> I'm happy to see a lot of a lot of Stardew gamers. I never know what the overlap is with Stardew and Pokemon. Yeah, I know plenty of people who didn't like Legends Arceus. I know plenty of gamers. Also, Joe, I have no idea if I hydrated. Nice does stuff. I'm glad you I'm glad you're loving it. It's really fun. It is it is a different take, but it's it's a good time. Yeah, people do be just hating. <laughs> this is true. We're looking for seeking or crawdont right now. Is who we're searching for. Has increased a lot. Still enjoyed playing it though. Yeah, the battles in Arceus, I've said it before, I'll say it again. It is weird. <laughs> Dodged a bullet for sure, Garchomp. <laughs> we start a new farm with a couple of friends. I booted up Stardew the other day to see if like the cloud thingy saved, and it did. So my my I have my 100 percent perfection farm still, which is nice. I think whenever we try out 1.6 on stream, I can, I'll give a little tour of my other farm. It's actually pretty ugly. Yeah, the battles are the best part. The battles in Arceus are like... There's something, that's for sure. It's like, you could be... Where my seeking stands at, baby? Where my seeking stands, let's go! <laughs> oh, my mom is getting paid. My mom put the most points on seeking. Crawdot, what are you doing? <laughs> Look at this seeking. Yippee, it's ugly. We are out here. Seeking a seeking. You blame the artillery, Shelton? 20 26% on seeking. Let's go. Seeking caught with the quick ball. You love to see it. It's ugly and it's proud. 53% on Gyarados again. 26% on Seeking. 15% on Crawdont. 5% on nothing. It's a good day so far. Look at that fish. Look at that fish. Seeking swam home.
Okay. Let me save. Now that we got that seeking, you'll love to see it. Congrats, mom. You probably got a good amount of points from that. All right, would you all like to uh, guess a nature? What's up, cool cat? Hello, hello. Historically, kings used to be ugly. All that's left is Crawdon. I don't know what I'll do. I, I will probably like keep going for Crawdon, but I don't know if I want to waste y'all's time on stream with that. So we could go somewhere else and, and, and try something new. I'm also going to guess hasty. Oh my god, it's hasty. <laughs> wow. Okay. How about that? <laughs> We're going to organize this a little bit here. So these are all the little fellas we've gotten thus far. Well, hi, dog. All from Route 3. We have almost every single Route 3 shiny fish. We just need, we need Cronaut, which is just going to be tough. Corefish is the best for sure. All my fellas. <laughs> There's one woman and it's the Goldie. Shout out to you, Queen. We could just evolve a corefish. We could just good ride a corefish, but I don't know. It could be fun to get the get the crowd on. Gold Queen. Alright, let me let me open up the chain fishing guide I've been using for this. Yep, up, up, up. All right, so we just did route three. Call this game. Goldeen reminds you of the fish from Pinocchio. I wouldn't, I'm not familiar. If I may keep it real with you, I am unfamiliar. Also, hello, Duke. How are you, gamer? Good to see ya. Okay. Let's take a, a quick look at this bad boy. So I think where we should go next. Is maybe route eight. And we can get our beloved love disc. Love disc, star you and shelter, star you or shelter. Uh, Clauncher, Scralp. This is like, I think, a uh, game specific, whatever you have. Starmere, Cloyster, Quillfish. I believe we can get Staryu, Clauncher, Starmy, Klotzer, right? I think that's the X exclusives. Scralp is Y, right? Scralp 960. That is a bit of an L. I do think the Y exclusives are kind of better. That's okay. Love Disc Shiny is gold. A yellow baby. All right, let me see where the Route 8 spot is. Bacon bird. 
We have not gotten the stun fist, not yet, but soon. Yes, soon. Surely soon. Starmie Shiny is good. And Noob's favorite Pokemon, I think, is Starmie. You'll have to see it. Even the ugly clothes jackpot. <laughs> There's some good clothes. Our fit, we're kind of serving in this fit right now. I like the blue. I am a fan. Okay, I am unsure where exactly it wants us to fish here. It seems like right here. It seems like right here. Right, I'm saving. Me and Lapras are on a journey right now. Okay, before we do this, though, I'm going to go pee. This is where you did your first one, Tunkus. I love that. Moosey, I'm using a guide. Here, I can link it. This is the guide I am using for the best spots for the chain fishing. Shout out to Tumblr. Migs. Yoshi. Okay. BRB. Give me one second. Starmie is up there for you as well. What's up, Neo? How are you, gamer? It's good to see you. Okay, BRB. Get your shiny checks in, gamers, if you haven't done them already. Get them in, get them in. Hopefully you get a good one. I Why wouldn't I do that, Migs? I will be right back. Give me one second. Um, oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's get a prediction started. Well, no, we can't do a prediction yet. We have to get Love Disc first and then first. We can only do a prediction once we get to the Super Rod. We can't do a prediction yet. Or we could. I don't know. I'll think about it. Okay, I'll be right back. Give me one second. What is up, Ludo? How are you, gamer? Oh, 
hoping it doesn't blow up. All right. We are so back, baby. Let's get this love disc. Nice. I hope class went well for you, gamer. Did anybody get anything good? Okay. It's pretty gray, Blondie. It's pretty great. So with the old rod, we can get love disc here. So we're going to deselect the super rod. We're going old rod mode. Nope, I didn't mean to do that. I, I, I want to register it. What's up, Mike? How are ya? Akron, hello. Oh, reliable here. Good to see you, gamers. Hello, hello. All right. Let's do this. Let's get this love disc. Love disc is overhated, in my opinion. I love love disc. Growing up. Look at, like... What's there to hate? She's just her. Um, growing up, all of my friends hated Love Disc in Gen 3. Like, just despised it. No, don't look at the numbers, dinos. Don't look at that. Love Disc makes you uncomfortable. Hello, Scrap. How are you, gamer? All good, Gunner Mike. We'll see you later. Hello, hello. Otek, we're looking for love disc. We're going, we're going love disc mode. Yeah, it is weird that love disc is just herself. She just exists alone. There's no reason for love disc to make you uncomfortable. Are you saying love makes you uncomfortable? Because if so, that's not love disc's fault. That's something you got to figure out in therapy. You're thinking it's shiny every time. <laughs> It is sunny in X and Y right now, in Pokemon X. Love Disc is the fastest swift swim mon in Hoenn. From Hoenn. I love this for, for Love Disc. She's just a baby. She's zooming! <laughs> Right, I'm going to snooze the ads. I apologize that I couldn't time it better with my bathroom break. I do not know Flame Wing. I do not know off the top of my head the odds at all. Should I? Maybe. The day before Valentine's Day. Buzzwall. Anyway. Shiny Lickitung, full odds, just walking around in Arceus. How about that? How about that? <laughs> you can't miss him. It's a big guy. The white hope you're well. Hello, hello. That disc is so cute. My little guy. I remember catching one whenever I was a kid in Emerald. Maybe I caught it on my sister's copy. I don't know, but I... 
Loved it. Yo, Curry, congrats! That's awesome! Congrats, congrats, gamer. Dr. Curry, baby. You love to see it. What's up, Portal Master? How are ya? Just a, a stickler for Hoenn Pokemon is really what, what it comes down to if I'm keeping it real. Hardship fish is never going to be one of the best. What about this octopus? Octillery is so scary to me. If I, if I saw an octillery IRL... The Octillery and Arceus are so mean. They are like vicious. <laughs> we have found a um uh, a seeking today and a, we we saw a Gyarados but we didn't uh we didn't catch it. I would also like to meet a Sfeel. I woke up this morning in Pokemon Sleep with a, a Sfeel on my uh, Snorlax's belly. I had to say goodbye today to my shiny Snorlax in Pokemon Sleep. I was very sad to do that. I waved. I waved to him. Shark, I have to listen to the game music. Or else I'll miss the, the real in. But can you send it to me? <laughs> On Discord? <laughs> I would love to not have to listen, but I have to listen for the real in. It is so much easier than looking. I don't know if I want to hug the whole Sphere line, but I would like to... I know, Ludu. I wish you could just turn down the music and keep the sound effects on in this game. That is what I would definitely do. The real... Just to know what it feels like. <laughs> also, ads are coming in, gamers. Apologies. But enjoy your advertisement. No sound settings in Splatoon. Seeing loved is from the front. I think he's cute. Lewis the love disc. Shiny hunting for love disc in Scarlet and Violet was such pain. Going in the water. It is giving Phineas and Ferb. It's giving Phineas. <laughs> I think Love This looks a little bit better though. Just a tiny bit better. Yeah, scrap, I don't know how we did it. Phineas from the front is indeed cursed.
it's a lot to handle it's a lot to think about right now we don't have to think about it too we don't we, we can move on it is a lot Twitch being so weird with ads lately. Scrap is just me and you against everybody else, don't worry. Love Disc is a powerful woman. A powerful, powerful woman. How are you, Scrap? How, how's the Monday going? Stun Fisk, but vertical. We have been in a fish era lately. Lots of, lots of shiny fish lately. Or just fish Pokemon in general. Seventy five percent female. I don't think we've seen a single male yet. Honestly, you'll love to see it. Started listening to audiobooks on your commute? That's kind of fun. I've only ever listened to one audiobook in my entire life. I don't know if audiobooks are for me. I, I, re I respect them. We have seen them. Okay, well, I just didn't notice it. Um, I, I, I've tried to listen to audiobooks when it comes to, like, fantasy novels and just, like, a lot like more complicated novels and I can't do it. I cannot do it. Really hip up. Every night. Every time I've done an audiobook it's had to have been while I'm driving. Yeah, I have to do that quite often, Eternal. Every time I read a book at night, I have to go back and read like a page or two before. I don't know. I find that like I just disconnect really easily whenever I'm listening to an audiobook. It's like similarly to like how when you're reading and your mind kind of like starts to wander and you need to like go back and reread. I do that quite often with audiobooks, and it, I find it harder to, like, go back with an audiobook, especially while you're driving, you know? The only successful audiobook experience I have had was when I listened to, uh, what is it called? Um, Into the Wild, I think? I believe it was nonfiction, so that's probably why I... found it a little bit easier because I wasn't like stressed about remembering stuff. Still do it when she's out of town. Pick up books you've already read. What's up, Stigo? How are you? Hello, hello. Quality and delivery of the narrative can really change. Yeah, it has to be like a good narrator. Totally understandable. For me, like I'll do a, I can do a podcast okay in the car. But again, I, I, it's like the same way with, with audiobooks where I kind of struggle here, here and there. I remember enjoying it, Mike. It's just been so long since I read it, listened to it. I remember enjoying it, though. I had a friend recommend it to me. What are you reading, Scrab? Thank you. 
You've already read so you don't miss something. I am a big enjoyer. That was a man? Um, I am a big enjoyer of the Magnus Archives podcast. It can be hard to listen to that sometimes. <laughs> Joey, how are you, gamer? Sleepy, sleepy, sleepy vibe right now. When you do find the right book or podcast. Really, Miss Al? It's pretty great. It is, it is pretty, pretty great. I need to get back into it and finish it. I'm very on and off with it, but I like it a lot. Bruce! More months than I can count, but boy, howdy, look at us go, pal, Arl Fish. How you doing, Bruce? Thank you for the 27. It's good to see ya. Hello, hello, gamer. How is the Monday going? Hello, hello. Hello, shotgun. How are ya? Good to see you, gamer. New, welcome back. Magnus Protocol. Is this new, Miss L? Also, hello, Steph. How are ya? Good to see you. I hope work is going okay. Hello, hello. We're looking for love disc bronze. We're going, going love disc mode. We've found a Gyarados that we ran away from, and then we found a Seeking earlier. That is what we've gotten thus far today. Gyarados shined first for us, and then we got, we got the Seeking, which I'm pleased about. Well, how's the fishing so far? It is, it is, it. We're fishing. We're fishing for sure. I hope catching up has been going all right. We are, Joey. We're looking for the golden, the yellow, yellow heart emoji. With the horror very well, yeah. I don't know. I, 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 I have talked about this before. Where I really enjoy horror movies. I find podcasts that are on the scarier side totally fine. But reading scary stuff, I'm like... It just doesn't get me that much. Scary games are hard for me to play. I struggle with, with scary games. Oh, nice noob. Exactly, Steph. Talk to me? Is this a movie, Bruce? Or a TV show? You would rather read than watch something scary. I used to be such like a, eh, I can't do scary movies. Eh, but now I am like, I don't know. Something changed within me and I just decided I, I like scary movies. I don't like like. I always, the best way to describe how the like scary things I enjoy I don't like weird things. Like, I do not like, like, unnecessary gore and, like, just, like, gross weirdness when it comes to, like, scary movies. But, like, I don't mind a jump scare. I don't mind, like, ghosts and whatnot. Work on building up some on-the-side stuff to be a mean squeeze. Nice, noob! Sorry that the, the job searching has been so tough. No oh, good. I don't find the Magnus Archives to be that weird at all. Not for me personally, but... Midsummer was weird, for sure. Like, but... Uh, it's hard to talk about Midsummer without, like, spoiling. 
but like a lot of the scary stuff that happens in Midsummer, you don't see it. You just like know about it, you know? Whereas like Hereditary, ugh. Ruined my, my life. <laughs> Nope, this one is your favorite horror, horror movies. I haven't seen it, Sarah. I need to, though. I want to play Slime Rancher so bad. So Walsa was playing it on stream the other day. I own the game, but I've never played it. I kind of want to play it. Yeah, I watched the menu, but that didn't really... I... Okay, here's, here's a good way. I don't want to, like, talk about this too much because it's going to make people uncomfortable, obviously. But, like, I don't, like torture stuff and i don't like weird we like if if somebody is gonna die in a movie i would rather they just like it's quick and and then and, and it you know i obviously i don't want anybody to die but like i don't like weird scary drawn out stuff you know you know what i'm saying the vibe i'm giving off here but the menu was definitely weird but it didn't really bother me that much because it was kind of silly scrap, if you get what I'm saying. I don't know. Um, I wouldn't... Exactly. Saw is a movie I will never watch because I... It's just... It's basically all the things I hate. What is up, Bryce? How are you, gamer? Hello, hello. Good to see ya. I, I, we will definitely play Slime Rancher for sure one day. I think that could be a lot of fun. Yeah, like Saw is something that I'm never going to watch because it's just weird torture grossness. I know that like the older movies aren't as bad, but like, I don't know. It's not for me. What's up, Maddie? Congrats on the, on the LeChonk, gamer. Hello, hello. Really, Scrap? You couldn't get into Slime Rancher? Hmm. <gasps> Chop the hair off, Bryce. How are you feeling? How's the neck feeling? Free? That's huge. I, I really need to get a haircut. Soon. Soon I will. You have inspired me, Bryce. No people who adore it. All of, like, the Stardew Valley friends that I have really enjoy Slime Rancher. Do you like Stardew Scrap at all? Mohawk Monday. What's up, Tom? How are ya? How many gifted for Clay to give me a haircut? How many do you think, Migs? What's up, Tom? Hope you're well. Hello, hello. We have found a Gyarados, which we did not catch, and a Seeking today. What's up, Daniel? Don't know what it was about Slime Rancher. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Huh. Have to get your hair cut at least once a month. My hair grows very fast. It is very frustrating. Especially, like, as I have dyed my hair over the years. Like, it just... It grows really quickly. It's it's very annoying. But the hair has gotten extremely long. It is it's time for a cut. Yeah, Bronze League. We were talking about it earlier. Uh, next week. It's annoying. It's very annoying. La -da -da -da. You just cut yours yesterday. Cause I got a haircut like three days ago, I think. Shave your 
hair off because it doesn't grow down. Just grows out. Mm. You shave it to feel good. You wear hats often. I'm a, I'm a big hat fan. I love a good hat. It just is a struggle to wear a hat whenever you're in like the early days of washing your hair. Like right after I wash my hair. I'm not trying to wear a hat. I'm trying to wear a hat when my hair is like all gross, you know? I've never been much of a head headband girl, but believe it or not, for some reason, when I was in seventh grade, maybe it was sixth grade, I think it was sixth grade, I was like, let's wear, I've never worn a headband to school, literally ever, but let's wear a headband for my school picture. And I did, and I looked like an idiot. I think my mom has that picture somewhere. All good, Miss L. Have a good night, gamer. We'll see you later. Yeah, I love a good hat in the winter time. I love a good, like, knitted hat. You know? Oh no, they got absolutely zero style, Coldest Case. They are suffering. Yeah, I feel like my hair is too frizzy for, for headbands, maybe? I don't know. They definitely aren't the vibe for me, that is for sure. Yeah, good old beanie moment. Yeah, that's no fun, Amelia. On my, I don't know if this is TMI. My armpits. <laughs> I remember in, um, what's it called? Uh, Joey, how do you not know this? It's like Migs's whole personality. Whenever I was in like middle school and high school, I my ass could not go to these swimming birthday parties and whatnot because my armpit hair, like I would shave my armpits, get to the, get to the pool. They'd grown an inch by the time I got there. I swear to God. I don't think y'all are... Oh, I'm so happy it shined when I was talking about my armpit hair. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Lemonade. <laughs> Hell yeah. Name it armpit hair. <laughs> and it's a woman. Oh, she's so beautiful. I'll name it Pip. I doubled down. I'm just embracing it, scrap. Zubat, congrats on level 20. Love it. Look at her. She's so cute. It lives in warm seas. It is said that a couple finding this Pokemon will be blessed with eternal love. I'll name it Pit. What a cutie. What a cutie. All right, the next one we're going to go for here is Staryu and Clauncher. Now, I don't know what the encounters rates are for either of them. I can only assume one of them is more common than the other. Yeah, Staryu Shenny is pretty great. It 
It is it is pretty great. And Clauncher's is is good too. We're on route eight, I believe. I think. Okay, I'm gonna get a prediction started for y'all. Oh no. Sarah, do you have a Suction Cups Gamer? <laughs> Churchy. <laughs> yeah, that's shocking, Sarah. What the heck? That ain't right. That ain't fair. Okay. What shines next, gamers? Interesting. Okay. 35% star you, 65% clauncher for encounters. The princess, how are you? I see a golden cap. Five minutes on the clock, gamers. Good luck, good luck. <laughs> it's probably because it's a Gen 1 gamer. You, you know how the people are. <gasps> oh, no. Okay, okay. Can we talk about something? I don't go to Casco and I haven't been in quite some time. But I heard they took away the churro. Is this true? Did they get rid of the churro? Why? Why would they do that? What were they thinking? And they like replace it with a cookie? I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry that I had a mid ass cookie. I'm sorry if you didn't know this, but it's messed up. I used to, whenever I was in high school, my mom would always surprise me with like a big old slice of pizza. And then uh, a churro. I'm so sad about the churro. Yeah, I've heard the cookie is fine, but like, I don't want that. No, Costco churro was great. As somebody who never eats churros anywhere else, <laughs> they were great. Me too, Sarah. It's like it's like. Uh... Also, I need to save. It is literally exactly like the frozen yogurt era we went through like 10 years ago. 710 calories! We went through a, uh, we went through a, a frozen yogurt era back in the day, back when I was like in middle school. And now we are in a, a cookie era, it feels like. I used to also love a frozen yogurt moment back in the day. Thoughts on spicy foods? I enjoy them for the most part. I'm not great with spice, but I try to be. Congrats on the golden kappa. I have gotten a golden kappa train once in this stream. Or did we get it twice? I think we've gotten it one time. It was a big moment. And I got to go live whenever the, everybody's golden kappa went away. Good times. They just got into frozen yogurt. <laughs> I used to put all sorts of... What's up, pill bug? I used to put all sorts of stuff on my... Uh, on my frozen yogurt. They were like pretzels. There was like yogurt covered pretzels, regular pretzels, chocolate covered pretzels. Like I was going pretzel mode every time I got a, a frozen yogurt. Also gamers, get your points in the prediction. You probably got like two minutes left or a minute left. You got a minute left. So get them in, get them in. If you'd like to 
predict on whether or not we get a little uh, little shiny fish today. Which one we get? If any of them even shine. Who knows? It's all boba now. Boba has definitely become a trendy thing for sure. There's a frozen yogurt place, I think, near me. There's like multiple though. Thin mint pretzels, pickles, barbecue sauce, muffins. Let's go, Bruce. Let's go, let's go. Thin mint pretzels. Yeah, I feel like you could get dots at amusement parks or... Um... Amusement parks or like malls is where you would get dots. I, I think I've had dots one time in my life. Um, Alpha, thank you for gifting that sub to Neville. Thank you, gamer. I appreciate that. Neville, I hope you enjoy your green emotes. I almost said dots. Anyway, enjoy your dots. Surprise. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Guy. You don't like dots, Churchy? He's a shrimp for sure. He, I'm, he's a shrimp. I would, or maybe giving a little lop, lobster moment. Local zoo, yeah. The zoo definitely has dots for sure. I star you. Scrap is a Y exclusive, I think we have discovered. Purple ketchup. What are you talking about? When I would go to amusement parks and whatnot, I would always get like an ice cream, like a, just like a nice classic vanilla cone. Nothing, nothing too crazy, you know? I didn't want dots. I didn't want it. It was it's so hot and you're sweaty. Like I don't want anything too flavorful or crazy. And icy is also a vibe. Icy is, is also the vibe. I've never heard of purple ketchup. Love Gen 6. They get a lot of hate for no reason, Emo. Hello, Mega. Thank you for the two months of Prime. They sure do get a lot of hate. Hope we're doing well, Mega. Thank you for the two months of Prime. Hello, Ocho. Yes, we did hit it for uh, Emerald Rogue. We're going to do that eventually. But yeah, we'll, we'll be playing Emerald Rogue. Only been to an amusement park once in your life? Really, Joey? Which one? If it doesn't dox you. I went to quite a few amusement parks. Like, I grew up in Pennsylvania. We went to Hershey Park quite a lot. Um, What else? I've been to, like, a bunch of Six Flags. I've been to Dollywood. Yeah, I would like a good ice cream truck. I've been to Disney World, but not land. Ooh, for your senior van trip. <laughs> What's up, Nathan? How are you, gamer? Good to see ya. Hello, hello. Yes, exactly, noob. Yeah, the Spongebob ice cream went crazy. Hello, Callan. I 
I've heard good things about Cedar Point. I never never been though. Yeah, Disneyland in in California, Disney World in Florida. Uh-oh. Yeah, there's too many too much blue going on right now. I'm nervous. That is a very dangerous noob. I have not known. Ever been to Universal? Geo. I'm I'm just like truly, I think as I've gotten older, I've realized I'm really not an amusement park person that much. In Japan? Oh, I bet that was so neat, Mike. Yeah, Nathan? No, I, I always heard things about it, but never went. Universal, Disneyland, and Disney World. Love to do Six Flags or Dollywood. Dollywood is fine, as long as you... At least the last time I went to Dollywood... There weren't that many, like, rides. It was more of, like, a vibe. It was, like, food and performances were the vibe of Dollywood. Like, the entertainment. The best ride at Dollywood is the minecart ride. It goes crazy. Pieces of parks and sunburns. Six Flags took a huge financial hit. Roro. Ah, uh, we found a love disc. Disney Sea? I have never heard of this. I'm trying to think of the last time I went to an amusement park. I think it was Dollywood like forever ago. Yeah, we got ourselves a, a woman love disc. A woman. What's a base? And a six flags on your 10th birthday. Got your copy of Fire Red that day. The last time I went to an amusement park, I believe it was Dollywood, and I destroyed my phone screen. I cracked it so bad in the car. Not even at the amusement park, in the car. <laughs> That's the last time. I shut my car door on my phone screen. Dollywood was my childhood. Love that place. Hi Z, thank you for the two months of Prime Gamer. Hello, hello. Good to see ya. The door was totally fine. My iPhone 4S was not. <laughs> she was no good. Thank you for the for the two months of Prime Gamer. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank ya. Chain fishing is tough. You really got to pay attention and like listen. And look. You hunted love disc on Valentine's Day. Had to take off your glasses on all the rides so you couldn't see anything. <laughs> I had a friend lose a hat on a on a on a ride before. Yeah, Scrap, check it out. I built a, this mini bookshelf yesterday, and I say I. Clay helped a lot with it, but you can't really see it. Yeah, you can. There is... Fun fact, there's a door right here. There is a little... 
Stardew Chimikin right there. There's my little bell bag. My fantasy books are down there. My Tamagotchis are on the middle shelf right there. And all my journals are right there. Dry Bones is up there. Oh, you can see him. That is Dry Bones right there. Zany Ludicolo, thank you for the 15 months of Prime, gamer. Thank you, thank you. Ooh, I appreciate it. The room is, is, is getting there. We got doors everywhere. There's a door right here. And a door right over there. There's doors all over the place. Thank you for the for the 15 months of Prime, gamer. Thank you, thank you. Truly, truly crazy. Dry bones moment. Finally. He's back. The new camera has been great so far, Mike. It looks a lot better, I think. Um, it's nice that it like auto focuses and whatnot, and it's it's gonna be great whenever we do some painting and baking streams, I think. I love interior decorating. I'm excited to get a rug in here. A rug and then hanging up stuff on the wall is going to be the next, the two next big things. What's up, Kai guy? How are you? Tunkus, have a good night, gamer. We'll see you later. We'll see ya, we'll see ya. Ever do a Pokemon prompt hut again? That's a good question for a Magic 8 Ball Hydra. What's up, Trimex? Hope you're well. We are, in fact, having a nice little Gen 6 throwback today. Tomorrow, we are probably going to friend Safari. Has been taking your sleep, Kai Guy. I'm well. I'm a little sleepy today as well. Um, a little, a little sleepy. The time change has definitely messed me up a bit. But overall, well, with a real nice rug map. Add his friend Safari exactly work. You just add a bunch of gamers on the 3DS. We have a we have a Discord channel for it. For friend codes. Add a bunch of gamers on the 3DS. I think so, Joey. <laughs> add a bunch of gamers on the 3DS, and then uh, you will have friend Safari information shared. And you could go into their little Safari patch and shiny hunt stuff. I, for anybody interested, my friend Safari has some very good Pokemon. Stunfisk. Is one of them. <laughs> I'm listening. It is insane that I have Stunfisk. I believe it's Pachirisu and, and Zubstrika. No shiny charm here, no. Ooh, Ultra Sun Warp Ride. Very, very fun. I also have such a lame lineup, Sarah. But Sarah, I like that you have Pikachu in your friend safari. I am interested in that. That is for sure.
Okay, I haven't added quite a few gamers on the 3DS yet. You need to beat the game, like beat the Elite Four and whatnot, Joey, to get to the friend safari. But you could still trade friend codes and people can access your friend safari. You just won't have the third Pokemon. In your friend safari, I believe is how it works. Oh, really, Gray Sleeves? That's fun. And you can't get any of the hidden abilities. But it is still a vibe. Yeah, usually the best mon. You would think Stunfisk would be my, uh... Yeah, we can see your friend Safari, Joey, but you won't be able to access the friend Safari until you beat... ...the game. But it shouldn't take too long. Just, just throw up a TV show you enjoy and, and grind, you know? The music probably sounds tough because of my capture card, because we're streaming on actual 3DS. Yes, please do, Nathan. We'll, we'll definitely spend a week in April, like maybe the first week of April, I'm thinking, doing just Safari, Friend Safari. There is a limit on your 3DS. I'm pretty like I'm 95% sure there is a limit. And yeah, we're going crunchy mode on this music. The limit is a hundred. I definitely am not near a hundred. I considered posting my friend code, my 3DS friend code on my YouTube community post, but then I said, you know what? I'm not doing that. <laughs> Ain't no way. <laughs> I'll keep it for the Discord and the stream. It would have been nice, I think, though, for other people to, like, exchange in the comments, I suppose. It's just tough because it has to be a mutual adding, you know? You both have to add each other rather than the switch, you know, where it's just, like, a request. I have quite a few electric and electric and I think ground friend safari friends. I think were my two most popular ones, I believe. What's up, Umbreon? OT, we have seen a Gyarados, a Seeking, and a Love Disc so far today. We found a good amount today so far. A good, a good group of gamers. Okay. 
You sure do, Joey. One in each game. I do not own Y. And Clay owns X as well. I might purchase Y. I don't know. We'll see. I, I might have Y downloaded on my other 3DS. I have no idea. It's okay, Joey. You got time. You got time. Online play doesn't close until, like, April, right? I need you to be red, my guy. My little fella. What's up, Panda Amp? How are you, gamer? Hello, hello. Nothing for Oras. Oras taking another L. Is anybody surprised? I might replay that game. <laughs> we'll see. What's up, Yukenna? How are you, gamer? Hello, hello, Panda. Hope you're having a lovely Monday. We do not have the shiny charm, but we are method hunting. Chain fishing is a method hunt. Ba -da 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 -da. Anybody tired of the music yet? Doesn't even give Trico the time of day. Listen, I have directed you towards many people who are hunting in that game. Tired of it in 2013. Hello, Rambeard. How are you? How goes... Monday. Turn that shit up. Got tired of the music 10 years ago. Having a Denny's moment? <laughs> Watch and stream at the local Denny's? Kind of a vibe. I've never done deck snap hunting. I would like to though. I would I would enjoy it. Denny's gives you a free grand slam on your birthday. Truly a sentence. That is a sentence. I'm on the TVs at Denny's. <laughs> I believe a grand, a grand slam is like a meal. A meal of some sort. I literally think I've been to a Denny's once in my lifetime. I don't know why I never really went to them. <laughs> Noob. Two pancakes, two eggs, hash browns, bacon, or a biscuit. Going there once at midnight to open Pokemon cards. I love that. That is a that is a vibe. 
you could go for a grand slam right now. I definitely was more, I think, of a Waffle House person. But, like, a, a, a common, like, theater kid uh, thing is, like, going to Denny's or some sort of diner kind of vibe restaurant after a show. And my diner restaurant of choice was always Steak and Shake. But I know some people went to Denny's, some people went to, like, IHOP. You miss those days? I don't. Believe it or not, I do not miss middle school. I always go to Denny's after after a cross country race. <laughs> yeah, steak and shake was our go-to. You know what I want? I would like a milkshake right now. Kelly! What kind, Kelly? Oh, that's perfect timing. Dude, Kelly, you have 3DS games? An M&M milkshake right now would change my life for the better, I think. Nothing wrong with being a Team Flare hater, I don't think. Clay thinks I am lactose intolerant, and... But I'm gonna just pretend like that. I'm just gonna ignore it. Yeah, a sh strawberry ice cream is truly... My tummy just always hurts after we eat, like... Nachos. <laughs> I almost missed that. Good lord. Secondhand white and red one. Ooh, nice! Uh, have a new leaf cartridge. Wanting your own for a while. Going to see how much I use the 2DS. Nice, 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 nice. Kelly, I'm excited for you. No, we're not pinning that. We're not pinning that. Most lactose intolerant thing you can do. It's the sacrifice I am willing to make. Can it, like, just kind of start happening over time? Like, I used to not feel bad after I ate anything with cheese. But now I do for some reason. Am I just getting old? This is messed up. This is messed up. Yeah, I turned 50 last month. It's all downhill. From here. A peanut butter milkshake lover. For me, it's like I am an M&M ride or die. Oh god, Kelly. Good luck, gamer. Godspeed. <laughs> Joey. <laughs> Thanks, Grab. I just like a, a good old plain M&M. Ice cream moment. But I do love a peanut M&M. And dare I say... A pretzel M&M? 
Kelly, you get me? A pretzel M&M goes crazy. Now, the problem is I haven't seen one in so long. Do they still make them? I'm scared. The crispy ones are pretty good, too. They are kind of weird, but... They are so hard to find. I never see them, but I love pretzel, pretzel M&Ms. No, Kelly! M&M. <laughs> M&M. Haven't seen them in a while. Yeah, same. Migs! Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Yeah, I have also not seen them in quite some time, which is really sad. And for a second, I thought that they were getting rid of nerd clusters, but... I think they were just sold out, which as they should be. I just deleted Migs's message. I didn't ban Migs, did I? Migs just has nothing to say. Migs knows what he did. For 60 seconds. <laughs> Nathan, this is exciting for me. This is exciting to hear. P. Alan, thank you for the two months of tier one, gamer. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoy your RO Onyx. I right, Joey? I was like, oh, we've made it. <laughs> we've made it. This is a long chain for sure. We are seen! <laughs> The Casco Pickles, they're good. A Thumbprint Jam Cookie. Those are so good. They're called Jammy Dodger. Um, I'm going to not snooze the ad. I think I'll let it play. Okay, ads are starting, gamers. when they don't want to go to bed. Johnny! Overstimulation. Oh no, I turned up the music. Sorry. Where is our oval? Uh-oh, where is it? Oh, there it is. For every tier 3 subscription, she flies across the screen. Oh, those cats are right on time today. Somewhere Don is saying call. It's true. I'm never fixing our ogle. I like the black box behind it. <laughs> I like it. Hello, gamers. Happy 18th month day. Golf Hello, Johnny. Comfy. How are you, gamer? 
It's good to see you. I hope you are well. Thank you for the 18 months. And thank you so much for the tier three is crazy. How are you? Hope you are well. Happy Monday. Hope the Monday is treating you well. She doesn't need fixing. Yeah. If it ain't broke. I can never get distracted again. See, this is why you got taken away, Migs. Zowie, zowie. We run it back. The way we do, the way I've been like streaming when we chain fish is on my GoXLR, I have my system sound, which is like my sub alerts, just any alerts basically, is down so low. Like it is basically zero, just so that they don't <laughs> mess me up. But they'll be normal sounding for you all, just not for me. They are very low. At least we've gotten better though. Yesterday we were like missing, I feel like every 30 minutes I, I broke the chain, but that went on for a really long time. That was a long chain right there. I should have missed that one. This is the week of fishing. Chain fishing is, it's the week of chain fishing. It's a good day to, a good week to chain fish. You know? It's definitely Pokey Radar, Zanny Ludicolo. I am a big, big Pokey Radar girly. I just love Pokey Radar a lot. And it's definitely what got me into shiny hunting. I love Pokey Radar. And it'll be a huge day, Bruce. It'll be a huge day. Throw the Pokeball so high up in the game. <laughs> SOS? I, I've heard a lot of great stuff about SOS. Hi, Synth. How are you? What's up, Fire Whiskey? Good to see you, gamers. Yeah, Stunfisk isn't real. What's up, Lightning? T40. T40, are you going just until Blimpbug shines for you? I, 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 respectable if so. Very, very respectable, I think. Going until midnight? 
Hopefully it shines for you. On the last break of work, Synth. Nice. Two yellow birds. What does it mean? What does it mean? SOS with a smear goal. Taking shiny Stunfisk when they finally stop playing around. We have not decided where Stunfisk's destination is. I don't know. Maybe it's Casco. For a slice of pizza. Oh, poker us? Really big verb. Let's go. I've gotten it one time in Gen 4. If Stunfisk wants a Costco chur churro, he should have shined like a month and a half ago because they're gone now. Don't tell me that, Curry. I didn't need to know that. That doesn't surprise me. They're pretty large. They are large. <laughs> A medium pizza equivalent. From a Porygon Z Rampier? That is so fun. That is hilarious. Furniture meatballs. Ikea meatballs? Ooh, good luck, Flash. Those are fun. And your black two, white two playthrough. I, I I believe it was Pokemon Platinum was where I got my uh my what's it called? My Pokeress. All good scrap, of course. Caught that love disc for us and no one else since everybody clearly hates love disc. Safe travels, gamer. Sparkling uh, waters in glass bottles? Purely Canadian, I remember them from the 90s, 2000s. I do not remember this, no. Do not, do not remember. Sparkling waters and glass bottles. Hi, Biotex. He's so clearly Canadian at Publix in the South. Publix wronged me last time I went there. We have found three today so far, Magic Mods. We didn't catch Gyarados though, because we already got that one. That gamer. Johnny. 
You and Noob both. I used to be a Publix gamer. There were there are too many grocery stores. Can I just say this? First of all, can I just say? Second of all, there were literally three. If I were driving from my parents' house to like the gas station, I passed three Publix. Three! Why were there so many? Why are there so many grocery stores? Four Kroger's. I once got a pub sub and the person working there asked me what I did for my work and I told him stream it. And then he came into stream and primed. I'll never forget it. A real one for sure. Remember that day like it was yesterday. <laughs> They're very kind. Grocery store virtually on every corner. I'm pretty sure that day I was buying a sub for someone else. I think. <laughs> As someone who grew up most of their life in the South, I will let it be known that I do not like sweet tea. It is very gross to me. It is not for me. Let's go T40. Be strong, gamer. Gotta go to three different... Yeah, it's like... It's kind of sad. <laughs> no, I I've had I have had plenty of sweet tea in my life. It is always disgusting. It's just not for me. It's not for me. It is half sugar. I whenever I used whenever I was a server, I would have to make the sweet tea, and it was disgusting. <laughs> I would use two like like a big tank of sweet tea. Our boss was like, you only need one bag of sugar, but everybody did two bags. And sometimes that was still not enough. We would still get complaints that our tea wasn't sweet enough. I had a, a dream the other day that I was back to serving. I think it was last night. I had a dream I was serving again. Um, Veritek, thank you for the prime. Gamer, thank you for priming. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. It's so gross when you think about it. <laughs> it's synth. Have a good night, gamer. We'll see ya. I never dream, but last night I think I did. And then I headbutted Clay. But I didn't mean to. Accidentally, like, he told me I, like, did the wind-up and everything. <laughs> I smashed my head against his head on accident. I woke up and I was like, Uh-oh. Sorry. Nest tea? My mom really loves Turkey Hill tea. <laughs> She really, really enjoys turkey elf. Grew up on sweet tea and make it so often. Homemade is better than store-bought, yeah. 
I can understand that. Yeah, I think that uh, I had a ton of sane people come in and order half and half. Sometimes people would order half and half tea and it would still be too sweet. Just something to think about. It just, it blows my mind that people will come into an, an establishment and they'll be like, um, this tea is, it. can you sweeten the tea? It's not sweet enough. And I'm like, baby girl, this isn't about you. This is about the entire restaurant. Somebody like two hours ago probably told me that it wasn't sweet enough or that it was too sweet. Like I can't change it. Just take your sugar packs and move on. Like people always are like trying to get you to, it's just, it was so annoying. Hello pretzel. Pretzel, pretzel. What's up, Bash? How are ya? Baby girl, it's not about you. Everybody say hi, pretzel. You know something I realized? We didn't talk about pretzel at all yesterday. Alarming. Ask for popcorn with salt, yet to without salt, yet to proceed to pump a bunch of butter into it afterwards. <laughs> People think that like they can go into a restaurant or just like an establishment and ask them to just change up the entire inventory just for them. It's an insane take. What's up, Crispy? How are ya? Hello, hello. They really do be entitled. It's something, it's interesting. Oh, she shoots her head up. Me and Clay had to go to Target the other day to buy furniture stuff. And my blood sugar, I like, I needed to eat something so bad. I was feeling so faint and I bought a Target popcorn and it went kind of crazy. I ate it so fast. The kernels definitely got stuck in my teeth, but not too bad. Yeah, they were selling popcorn. Puffcorn fan? Yeah, the kernels are like an L. Two-week popcorn hyperfixation? No, I no, 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 I need Girl Scout cookies. I need to find one. Where are the Girl Scouts? <laughs> I want to buy some Samoas so badly. I haven't gotten any online. Work at Red Lobster. One customer wanted us in the kitchen to make her a special request pizza. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. It was an old woman, or it was like some, I guess she wasn't old, but some middle-aged woman at, at Clay's physical therapy office was his Girl Scout cookie hookup. It's, that is the best way to describe seeing Girl Scouts in person. <laughs> it's literally Mirage Island from Gen 3. <laughs> With a QR code. 
Noob, he got them, and, and he finished the box yesterday. I haven't seen any of them posted up outside of the grocery store. I'm surprised. I just want some Samoas, y'all. Knowing Clay Curry, he's going to start charging gift subs on his stream for that. One bad work interaction from ordering Girl Scout cookies. V, hello V. Okay, okay you know what? I'm just going to do it now. No, hold on. Let me get in a battle real quick. V, how are you? Hello, hello. It's good to see you, gamer. Imagine if it were shiny. Okay, Girl Scouts. Is the season over? Find cookies. Okay. What is my zip code? I should not say it out loud. We're getting ready for next cookie season. This is fucked up. Hold on. Maybe not. Digital cookie store. Would they judge me if I ordered like 12 boxes? It's only $72. Four packages minimum. They said chill. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Four packages minimum. I read it as maximum. I'm going back to six. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I could just buy these. My tummy about to hurt. V, how are you? I hope you are so well. It's good to see you. What's up, Kai? Happy Monday. Okay, I'm going to do this after stream so I don't accidentally type my address into the Twitch chat. I'm just, I'm worried. Typing the zip code was already too much for me and my, my anxiety. Okay, the shortbread is what Clay got, and they were pretty great. They were pretty they were pretty great. They were just a little boring for me if I'm keeping it real. But they were pretty good. Exhausted out of your mind, but we're here. Nice V. Nice. I hope you get some good rest this coming week. And type their password into our stream chat once. I once accidentally copy and pasted like two pages of my thesis into a Twitch chat during a raid. So like anything can happen. And I just don't trust. Tree foils. I had no idea that Girl Scout cookies had different names depending on where you lived. I had no idea that until we talked about it recently on stream. Is that what Clay was eating? Yeah, that's what Clay was eating. That's what Clay bought. Is that how you say it? 
Trefoils? Trefoils? That's what Clay was eating. There is native limited edition Girl Scout cookie body wash. All right, I'm out of there. Trefoils, okay. Yes, the, the fact that Samoas and Caramel Delights, that's crazy to me. They've always been Samoas to me. I don't know about the body wash. That's too much. That's a bit much. By the way, go follow V, y'all. Agent V, one of my favorite people on Twitch. My absolute favorites. Get Clay the body wash. You did see Girl Scout cookie body wash the other day at Target. That's it's too much. I need like, you'll never catch me walking into work smelling like a Samoa. <laughs> Now that's a good pin message. Um, I think Target is where they sell them, Joe. That's just too much. I need like sensitive skin, non-scented body wash. That's the vibe I'm going for. Kind of miss being a Girl Scout. I was a Girl Scout for a little bit. I was. I did not do a good job. Yeah, Dove Unscented for life. That's so real and true. Hello for baby mama. Hope you're wild. These body washes are getting too sweet. Way too sweet. They had us on the grind. They really did. And my ass was not doing a good job. I think that's why they didn't care to lose me. If you smell like a caramel delight, hit me up. <laughs> Which Pokemon are we looking for? We're looking for... Um, you know, I would prefer star you if I'm keeping it real, but We're looking for the starfish or the or the lobster either one Either one we're using the good rod here on route 8 I think is where we are The cookies have been purchased. This is huge. This is huge for y'all. Minimum wage for 10 weeks anymore. Hi, Mosey. How are ya? Hello, hello. Um, Gunner Mike, thank you for gifting that sub to Polars. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your Arl Onyx specifically. Yeah, either way, they're both pretty great. They are both pretty great. You brought a form for people to, to buy Girl Scout cookies. I believe that is what the woman at Clay's Physical Therapy did. That was the vibe I was getting. She was just kind of like, if you want some... Eternal, have a good night, gamer. We'll see you later. Clay is laughing so hard that I can hear him. Tandem mouse. This is huge. Who's up? What, Shattered? Oh, okay. You're excused.
Certif certified guys or fellas? Let's go. That's what they are. That's what they are. Oh, I meant to snooze the ads. I'm sorry, gamers. They're coming in. Sarah. Yeah, we're looking for this. We're, we would prefer star you here is, is basically. Ah! Okay. I am never talking again. Everybody shut up! We go again. I don't think you can reroll the Meryl. I think if you get a Meryl, you're stuck with it. What do you think happened, Migs? What do you think? At least the music's good. We have not found Stunfisk yet, no. Still grinding away for Stunfisk in the, in the badge quest. She is just, just not shining. Joey, yes. So, I don't know how much I'm allowed to say about this, but yes. They finally responded to me this morning, which is huge. But last week. I signed with a like an agency. Wow. OK. I, <laughs> it really shined when I'm talking about something I'm not supposed to talk about. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. That was a low chain. Wow, Star, you shined first. Before the lobster. I'm very, 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 very surprised about that. Look at him. Them, sorry, them. Look at them. Get in the ball. Hell yeah. That looks sick. Nanthers, thank you for converting your sub from Prime to Tier 1 or gift from Tier 1. Thank you, Nanthers. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Look at him. He looks incredible. He looks so good. Shout out to the Star You Believers. 32% on Star You, 67% on Clauncher, 1% on nothing. Something to think about. Noob is getting paid. Anyway, all this to say, Joey, I think I'm gonna do the factor sponsorships. I'm just not sure if I can do it the way I wanted to beforehand, but I think so. There you have it. Let's go, Flash! Congrats, gamer! Okay. We'll see you later, Star You. That's huge. 
huge W for us. Okay. So now what? Now? Oh my god. The amount of Girl Scout tabs I have open right now. Um, now we are... We're still on Route 8. We got the Love Disc. We got the Star U. We now need... Launcher. And then... We go... We'll Super Rod after that. Okay. Should we do a prediction for this? We're going for about like another hour, 45 minutes. What should we do here? Thank you, Joey. Yeah, noob! We got the star you first. I can't believe it. Very surprised that shined first. All right, yeah, let's just do the same prediction we just did. What shines next? But just know we are only hunting for about 45 more minutes. The chain does not stay. We're starting from the bottom once again. I'm going to give you all five minutes here. Good luck. Good luck. Get those points in! Okay. I will wait just a little bit for you all to get your points in so that I'm not fishing. anger uh gunner mike thank you thank you thank you gamer have a great rest of your night thank you for the good luck moltres good luck good luck good luck how far do we think i am in the y copy that you forgot you had second gym second gym for sure thank you v what's cluff -a bot it's more like who's cluff -a bot where's cluff -a bot Wise cluff of bad. Alright, we need the shrimp. Cluff of bot is the bot in my chat. Did I save? Who knows? Is that good? Yep. It has two badges. Are you serious? <laughs> it's a grind to get those first two badges. So I just, I just assume, do you know? That is exactly it. Kush. My one, one of my cats is named Cluffa. And one of the bots, we, f for my bot, we just, we named it Clef a bot. The Poffin bot. Poffin is already, I'm convinced already that Poffin is a bot. One over 30k. Let's go, Nathan. Joey. Do you not remember what I nicknamed myself in this game? Joey, your memory, I'm, I'm nervous for you. Soul City, thank you for the tier one. Thank you for the brand new tier one gamer. 
Hope you enjoy your emotes. Thank you, thank you. Joey says in Deceive, I remember. Yeah. <laughs> Joey was like, it was Joey's idea for the for the nicknames for all of for my starter Pokemon, but Joey couldn't remember what starter I chose. I believe so, Kirsty. I have seen so much conflicting stuff online, but I believe so. Or like 519 or something. Thank you, Soul City. I appreciate it, gamer. What are your nicknames, Migs? What was your starter that you chose? Was it Froki? Fanakin, interesting. Interesting, interesting. I enjoyed using Fanakin. I had a good time. It was a vibe. Only one Gen 6 starter made it to Smash. Frillish, interesting. All good, Kyle, and have a good night. We'll see you later. When I was a, when I was younger. When I first played Pokemon X, I definitely chose Froakie. I think I'd be more inclined to choose maybe Chespin now. Chespin or Fennekin. I think Froakie's maybe bottom for me of the three. Pichu. <laughs> but yeah, the Gen 6 starters, eh. Nice, nice. I, I definitely used Ampharos whenever I was, was in high school. Or whenever I... However old I was when this game came out. Froki and Blastoise. Let's go. For me, it was Gen 5 where the starters started to become a little uninteresting to me. If I may keep it real with you all. Chespin's all grown up. I have come to respect Tepig a little bit more. Oh my god, Shock. That's true, original. I'm always keeping it real. <laughs> thank you, Soul City, for checking out the stream. Thank you, thank ya. In celebration. <laughs> Froakie and Bulbasaur. You soft reset for shiny Froakie, Kirsby? Did you get it? That is a rough and tough starter reset. Clay is laughing so hard. What's he laughing about? Ember Shiny is the best of, of, of the three. <laughs> Shock. 
Got a shiny froggy. That's awesome. That's so sick. You are a real one for getting through that, gamer. You are a real one. Mesprit. What are you talking about? Arl Lurk, shiny star. What's up, two rogues? Thank you for the eight months, gamer. How are ya? Reggie Rock? How are you, two rogues? Thank you for the eight. Good to see ya. Hello, hello. I love Zuko. I'll say it. Let me be the first to say. I feel like these are... I'm, I'm reeling these in too slowly. Launcher, you're looking a little blue today, Mr. Man. Thank you, two rogues. I am also pleased with the with the star you. I wasn't expecting star you to shine first, but I am very pleased. Just need a little lobster. A red lobster. Head to red lobster tonight if we find one. To celebrate. I will eat nothing. He, they do throw it up really high in the air. P40 had, was on to something there. First five eggs, let's go. The Froakie was a long Masuda hunt for me in, in Scarlet and Violet. Not as long as Charmander. The biscuits are pretty good. I do remember the biscuits going kind of sicko mode. Every time I would go to a red lobster, I would get very sad seeing the lobsters in the tank. <laughs> it just depresses me. Hello, external rabbit. <laughs> Literally, Kush. Trying to strategize how I get them out of there. <laughs> We are truly just going through all the routes trying to find as many chain fishing shiny Pokemon as we can. Right now we're looking for all of the gamers on Route 8. Name a biscuit. X and Y are your favorite Pokemon games, Metro. This is a take. That certainly, certainly is a take. I have grown to respect these games. And exactly. Every Pokemon game is somebody's favorite for a myriad of reasons. Could be their first Pokemon game. You know? 
Could be the Pokemon game that got them back into Pokemon. Who knows the memories they formed with that game. Joey, where are you in the game? You don't see a lot of Gen 7 love? We have a we have a Ram beard in the chat room who who loves Gen 7. There is a hater in everyone. Ooh, hunting in Gen 7 right now, V? Man, Joey, it has been so long since I've touched Mario RPG. I have literally no idea. Have you... Sometimes talking to the people, they do not really help you out that much with guiding you where to go. Shock, type away, gamer. Type away. I'm lean. Happy Monday, and thank you for the prime. Thank you so much for prime and gamer. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoy your emoticons. Your Aralonyx. Envy whoever played Heart Gold Soul Silver as their first Pokemon game. Definitely one of my first, but Emerald, I'm glad I Emerald was my first experience. Ugh. Anyway. I got it. I can't be looking away. Ooh, a little type null moment. He's like, find the star. Are you? I th I feel like the best way to figure it out is maybe just like the last. Just head to wherever the last area you stopped at and talk to everybody there, maybe? I have no idea. My ass has no clue. Clefabot deleted Clefabot's message. Much to think about. Um, Lean, thank you for the three gifted. Thank you, gamer. Thank you, thank you. Oh my god, did you just give yourself a new shiny check? You cannot be doing that. Did that just happen? You're the only one who can do it twice. Lean, thank you for the three. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. If you got gifted a sub, I hope you enjoy your, your emotes. Thank you, thank you. And uh, Slinking Monkey, thank you for the prime. Thank you. Oh my god, this is messed up. He can just do it however many times he wants. Coldest case, welcome back. This is messed up. I think you made a command that times you out so you have to work. Joey. Joey, what did you expect to happen? Thank you again, Lean. Thank you, thank you, gamer. Very kind. Would you ever try Emerald Kaizo? I don't think so. I don't think that's for me. Like, uh, no. <laughs> We are doing a hardcore Nuzlocke this year, but it's not gonna be uh, Emerald Kaizo. That is that much I can tell you about it. Kaizo chain fishing, heart gold Kaizo. secret command I made a long time ago because of a random message noob said. <laughs> True external rabbit. Dude, is Atreus here? Shout out to Atreus. Atreus cheered like 
1500 bits off stream on <laughs> on women's day i didn't see it until recently shout out to trace for that one a real one Crystal Kaizo is brutal for me when it comes to these like intense and insane ROM hacks. I would much rather watch somebody do it. Rather than do it myself. I would like to eventually learn, but for the most part, I'm vibing just, just watching. on trying to catch a nuzleaf yesterday <laughs> oh no did you catch that nuzleaf was it worth it i've not heard of this external rabbit fire red oh let's go a little ghastly moment Bogmaster, have a good night gamer we'll see you later Oh, nice shot. Let's go. Krobus. There will be very helpful if I ever remember to use it. Oh my god, there he is. Wombus. Back in the day, the, um... <laughs> Back in the day, the uh, the Stardew Valley crane game was something else. It's good times. I almost missed that. I literally almost missed that. Pick up coconuts. Okay, we're giving this lobster like 30-ish more minutes, a little under 30. I'll keep the chain for... when I do this later. Right, I'm going to snooze the ads real quick. Don't mind me. The grind never stops. Good luck clicking and, and clacking on the on the keys. I I honestly haven't grown tired of the surfing music. It is kind of a vibe still. Hi Keyson, how are ya? Because I washed my hair recently, Sarah, I'm not really feeling that gremlin-y, but in two days I will be. In two days, I sure will. My mental health really depends on how clean my hair is. We are seeing so many star you.
I want this shiny. I want this red lobster. That's what we're, we're looking for right now. So if we see another Staryu, I honestly might catch it just so I could evolve it, but... The vibes are grem gremlin-y. Yeah, the clean hair equals happiness. I feel nice when my hair is clean. But the act of washing and flat ironing it, no good, very bad. Joey, you're late. We were just talking about those biscuits earlier. My mom will make those biscuits sometimes. They, they were a vibe back in the day. We're playing Pokemon X right now. The superior version IMO. My ass went for the touch screen instead of pressing the A button. I'm putting the stylus back. No, I'm I'm throwing the stylus away. The version without scrolf. Yeah, I'm not I'm not about the bird, but You've made enough biscuits for a lifetime. I do think I like Mega Charizard Y more than X, but like I actually also don't care about either of them. Whenever I think of like Red Lobster, Olive Garden, Chili's, like I really why are they all the same? Like, they're not. But they are, you know? I feel like Red Lobster is way more expensive than a Chili's, but I still associate them with being the same vibe. Need to touch grass. That would go crazy, Hedgehog. Outback Steakhouse. I don't think I've ever been to an Outback. Not to my knowledge. What's up, Ninetales? Hope you're well, gamer. Olive Garden and Red Lobster are the same owners. That sounds about right. Clay and I went to uh, Olive Garden recently. And by recently, I mean like, I don't know, two months ago. But like, it was not... When I think of Olive Garden, I think of like pretty affordable. Or like, I don't know. I don't know. But we, we got like, it was expensive. When we only went because we had a gift card. We did not like willingly want to go there. We just truly went because of the gift card I had. I've never been to a macaroni grill. Not to my knowledge. I could be like just forgetting or something. But I don't think I've ever been to one. Ads are starting gamers. I hope you get your favorite ad. Yeah, Olive Garden was no good. I, I applied to work there. But then my interview with Chili's went well, and I worked there instead. It's always, you're always going to Olive Garden because of a gift card, I feel like. That's just the only way you'll, you'll get me there. Yeah, I remember it used to being, like, fun to go. Maybe I was just, like, a child. Yeah, the bread is probably the best part. I got a Chardonnay the last time I went there, and it was awful. 
but I don't know if that's their fault. We'll just say it, it is. They usually get re-gifted. I, I don't know if I've ever had a soup from Olive Garden. I don't know. I've, I've gotten salad quite a bit, but... Soup, I'm unsure if I've ever done. I do be going crazy on the breadsticks because they're like they're they're free, right? Like you just you be eating those. All right, it only took like three minutes for the ads to start, but they've started. You get infinite soup as well. Oh, well, now I know. Also, hello, all too swift. Now I know. Next time I go, if I if I ever find myself back at an olive garden, go for the soup. It sounds like a vibe, Sarah. I think that is why I autopiloted peeling that potato the other day. It was yesterday. It was because I had just made a potato soup the week before. And so I went autopilot on peeling that potato. Like an idiot I am. Good luck, Hydra. I just don't know how you autopilot, auto peeling, auto. My favorite way to eat a potato, probably a tater tot. I would say a tater tot, probably. They go crazy. Oh my god, Buckeye. Is my mom here? Fazoli's was definitely a big part of my family when I was a kid. <laughs> we went there all the time. I had so much Fazoli's growing up. Do they exist still? I feel like I haven't seen one in so long. You live right by one? <laughs> it probably is better than Olive Garden, honestly. Master baked. Yeah, we, me and Clay have been doing a baked potato moment lately and it's been lovely. Has been lovely. You've ever heard of Fazoli's? Really interesting. I wonder where they are. They definitely have them in Georgia, multiple ones. Not seen one here. But I know they exist in Georgia. Virginia are above. Interesting. Never heard of Fazoli's. Wow. Much less real after having to work today. Hopefully. Sarah, you can vibe out the rest of this Monday. I 
I know, coldest case. On that bridge, you gotta fight so many gamers. Yeah, the person walking around with the breadsticks. Definitely a vibe for sure. Even vibes gonna be chill. Ooh, going back to Shining Pearl. Very, very fun. Yeah, I'm looking for basically... I, this is who I'm looking for. But I am also looking for... I'm looking for Quantra, but I'm looking for also like every... Shine, any Every Pokemon on Route 8 that can be shiny through chain fishing. And prob I'll, for the next stream, I'll just pin a message since we've been asked so many times. I will just pin a message. Will people read it? Now that is the ultimate question. We're looking for that red lobster. The best, truly one of the most incredible questions I think I see streamers get is what game are you playing? And, like, the game title is right there. Oh, my God. I'm going to lose my mind. All right, 10 minutes. Believers, I'm holding, I'm holding out for you. I'll do my best. I can understand, honestly, sometimes the what game are you playing? Because a lot of times I used to do this where... You would stream in the latest Pokemon game category for, like, the discoverability. But I don't care to do that anymore. Yeah, you need Subway Surfer video. <laughs> Dude, I suck. I said it probably about 300 times during the Mesprit hunt, but I'll pick up Mesprit just when I want to again, but not anytime soon. I only did it for Roamer week. Just for, just for the week. But I think we almost got 500 encounters in for, for Mesprit. Pretty good. I was pleased with that progress for a week. <laughs> She's not locked out. I'm locked out. Nick, we, we sure are fishing right now. We sure are fishing. What's up, Donnie? Hello, hello. We're fishing. You know how it is. We found some good gamers. We got a Staryu earlier, which I'm really excited about. Staryu is cool. I am a fan. Oh, I have... I think I have made up all of the Catch 3 Fish Redemptions. For sure. A Driflo named Blimp. From 2014? That's kind of huge. Blimp. 
Blimp the Tamagotchi. My girl. I have Blimp Jr. on that Tamagotchi over there. Just hanging out. The Tamagotchi device is dead, though. But the Tamagotchi is not dead. Let me once again remind everyone. That's huge. I would do... I would truly do anything to go back in time. And tell idiot child me to not restart my Pokemon Emerald so that I could have my my Swampert my good old Swampert I miss him Noob, have a great night, gamer. We'll see you later. Enjoy your evening. Charm is such a, a great nickname. I, I don't think I nicknamed my Swampert. I don't think so. Have your original Torterra. Yeah, I feel that way with Empoleon and Swampert. I was a fool back then. And wait, wait, Nathan, what was it? <laughs> what? Levani, probably Gardevoir. Kipper, that's a good nickname. I was a no nickname, no nonsense girly. I never really nicknamed anything growing up. Don't really know why. What if I didn't like the name? You'd never be able to change it. Bubbles. That's so cute. Yeah, either you nicknamed them all or you just you weren't you weren't about it. Clay also Clay did not nickname any of his Pokemon growing up. I see, Nathan. <laughs> yeah, nowadays I'll nickname, but I didn't back in the day. Oh no, Tina, that's awful. That is no good. I am sorry to hear that. I love that, Amelia. I used to be a hater on people who would like nickname their pets people names, but I kind of love it. Thinking of a plot point to somehow revive it. All right, five minutes left. Believers, you're going to need a miracle here. Oh, I loved the ball capsules. I was a big fan of the... Uh, 
the ball capsules growing up. I remember very well getting lost in the, uh, Salacian ruins back in the day. Filled with hearts and stars. I'm pretty sure when I sent out my Empoleon as a kid, it would say hi. <laughs> Honestly, iconic of me. Oh, yeah, yeah. How was that too slow? I was looking at it. Is this harder than Animal Crossing? Maybe. You had a professor named Benji? And a dog of the same name. Demented, what does this have to do with anything? <laughs> yeah, dinos, I feel like, I don't know. I felt, I felt like that last one was truly on time. Naming pets, we're talking about naming Pokemon, but I did mention naming pets real names. This is true. See, that was on time, dude. I swear to God. Animal Crossing, I think it's like all in your head. Like when you're trying to catch a big old shark, it's like, oh, brother. Twitch Mobile is truly the worst, I think, honestly. One of the worst things ever. But when you aren't locked in, Animal Crossing can be brutal. You sure can. Something that I'll truly never forget. When I was a kid, I accidentally released my stringfish into the ocean after I caught it. I grinded for that stringfish and then just threw it out in the ocean like an idiot. third cat called Pancake. I love that. We had a dog named Flapjack growing up. Who I loved. Oh, well, Glalie. <laughs> Thank you for lurking. Alright, gamers, we're doing three more. Three more fish. One, one fish, two fish. Yeah, they really, they really throw that ball up high. Now I'm never gonna not think about that. Three more hours. Ooh, Ultra Moon comes in. Very, very nice. True, original, yeah. We're, we're actually going forever. 
Yeah, I cannot unsee the throwing the Pokeball super high now. Today we found... Okay, I'll do one more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The last one. This is the last one. I'm not doing another. It's so high. <laughs> Are we shiny hunting? No. Okay. So we started to stream off with a Gyarados, but we didn't catch it. I didn't need it. And then we found our Seeking. And then we found uh, Love Disc and then Staryu. We saw four gamers shine today with, with chain fishing. I am I'm pleased with that. 56% on nothing. Y'all were y'all were real for that. Pascal, you are getting paid out, gamer. All right, gamers, thanks for hanging. I'm going to go eat some brie, probably. I know I talked about cheese hurting me, but I deserve some brie. I deserve a little brie as a treat. Thanks for hanging, y'all. I hope you all have a lovely, lovely rest of your night. Thank you, thank you for, for hanging out today. We'll be live again tomorrow. Um, I cannot deal with this song. No more. Ain't no way. We're finally free. Now we just listen to silence. Thanks for hanging. Um, enjoy your night, gamers. Please take care of yourselves. Eat something lovely for, for dinner tonight. Who can I raid? Um, tomorrow, I think we're going to actually do some friend safari stuff. Nothing's free anymore, Migs. Nothing's free anymore. Um, I think tomorrow we're gonna do a little bit of friend safari stuff. So there's a Discord channel for everybody for like 3DS friend codes and whatnot. Uh, if you'd like to exchange in there and join us for some X and Y friend safari tomorrow, I'm excited for it. And then we'll do a little bit of Animal Crossing New Leaf tomorrow as well. Da -da -da -da. Okay, I think we will raid. Ugh, I don't know. Everybody who's live, I've raided recently. This doesn't happen often. Where I'm like, I don't know who to raid. Um. Okay. We can go raid. The Arl gone. She waits. She awaits. We can raid. Sparty! I think Sparty's playing that gosh darn card game. He sure is. Do I know what's going on in this game? No.
But let's go find out together. Okay. I will see you all tomorrow. We will be live. We will be vibing tomorrow. Um, we'll do some friend safariing. We'll play a little bit of Animal Crossing. It'll be great. I'm excited. Um, please take care of yourselves, gamers. Eat something lovely for, for dinner tonight. And uh, yeah, I will, I will see you all uh, tomorrow. Looking forward to it. And tomorrow will be the second to last stream without the cats. Thursday will be the last stream without the cats. And then finally, we will be reunited with the, with the babies. But yeah, I'll see y'all on Sparty stream. Take care of yourselves. Have a good night. Thanks for the support today, gamers. See you tomorrow. Say hi to Sparty.